So the royal family is really upset with Harry and are angry about his tasteless comments. But what are these comments that they are angry about? Because there's something about Harry, they're always angry with him. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. My unpopular opinion, or may be popular, it depends what you guys agree on this, but if they had their way, they would have definitely done something to Harry just like they did to Diana. I would not be surprised at any means if William and Charles and the establishment threw Harry under the bus or left him in a tunnel, much like they did with Diana. That is my unpopular opinion. That is my unpopular opinion. Uh, maybe it's popular, I don't know. But the royal family seem to be left very unpressed by Prince Harry's tasteless comments on Queen Elizabeth, sources have claimed. Courtiers were left distinctly unimpressed according to reports of after the Duke of Sussex claimed his late grandmother supported his legal battles against the British press. In Harry's interview, he said that the Queen supported his legal battle against the popular press, Murdoch, and personally urged him on. He declared, we had many conversations before she passed and this is very much something that she supported. She knew so much about what was going on and she's very much up there saying, see this through to the end. Now, it looks like these courtiers um, are really upset saying that they were unhappy with Harry's tasteless attempt to claim his his grandmother supports his crusade. This is something distinctly off. We'll never know what was said between grandson and grandmother, but what we do know is that we only ever know one side of the story. So, you know, the fact that these courtiers are killing me because you're a courtier, babes, do you understand? You're not part of the royal family. You have no right or entitlement to think that you are valued more than a grandmother and a grandson's relationship. And this is the issue of the royal family. There's way too many bitches, pardon my language, running around speaking with entitlement when they're not even part of the bloodline of a family thinking that they can talk and then run to the press and the press prints this stuff because they're so anti-Harry and Meghan. This is the same stupid press that wanted Meghan to run down a road and be stripped for what? I don't even know. So I just think the entitlement is insane because what are you unhappy and upset about, about comments between family members that you are not involved in, beloved? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's giving, we're not part of the royal family, but we're begs. That's what it's giving with these courtiers and it doesn't make any sense. Sorry, a part of my language, but I had to just get that out because sometimes you gotta just let them know. Sometimes you just gotta let people know because it's really frustrating. Harry and Meghan have come out with a new interview that is going to air this Sunday on CBS, which is in regards to a new initiative centered around kids and social media. It will launch next week. While well, Harry stressed that their parents need to be first responders amid the social media crisis, I'm talking about trolling, all you want to do as parents is to protect them. And so as we can see what's happening in the online space, we know that there's a lot of work to be done here. At this point, we've got this to stage where almost every parent needs to be a first responder and even the best first responders in the world wouldn't be able to tell the signs of possible suicide. This is the terrifying piece of this. And this is great that they're doing this initiative, a public work engagement, and they're not even working royals in regards to public social media suicide and bullying and what takes place for your younger children monitoring their socials, their phone capacity and what they do because technology and AI is growing 24 seven and parents need to monitor what their children are doing, in my opinion, 24 seven in this day and age, point blank period. They look great, Megan looks great, Harry looks great, Megan has not aged a day, in my opinion, and you know, this is obviously great to see that they're doing these public working initiatives. Meanwhile, Hello Magazine is reporting that um, William and Kate are on holiday again because they are taking some time off the stresses of public engagements. What stresses is Kate Middleton going through when it comes to public working engagements or William right now? Attending a Taylor Swift concert, watching the Euros, watch England lose again, going to the pub and taking shots, like what public working engagements are both of these two parties doing outside of attending sporting events that they have to take a holiday away from that needs to be reprinted. I feel like this is just for those people who worship the royal family and that they will swallow this up and thinking that they need X, Y, Z because Kate has been having preventative chemotherapy treatment for the last seven, eight months. We don't even know what the hell she's having. It doesn't make any sense. If you can go to a tennis match, the Olympics, you can absolutely do a public working engagement, but that is something that she does not wish to do for whatever reason. So we have Harry and Meghan out here doing work engagements, going to Nigeria, now going to Colombia, which is gonna be a great thing for them to do, but William needs to take time and go off on another holiday We know when we know that his salary was revealed and we, the taxpayers, are funding his life and he's done nothing for climate change or homelessness in any capacity, but wants to start in a documentary about himself pretending to fix homelessness, nothing but performative crap. It's BS, lazy monarch, lazy royal family, they steal from us, daylight robbery, and it's just annoying. So sometimes I just rant in these videos because that's what I genuinely just want to do. 
King Charles has revealed has stopped taking Prince Harry's calls amid the Meghan Markle wanting to let um, him go of the lawsuit. Apparently Meghan is telling him to let go of stuff and you know just let it on go but King Charles has stopped taking the Prince Harry's phone calls but King Charles at the same time in the press what in the press sorry in the press sorry wants to be the father of the year. King Charles is a very much of an oxymoronic, hypocritical man because what he states is complete, the complete opposite to what he does behind the scenes. You cannot want a relationship with your son when you're cutting off his security and therefore putting him in danger. It doesn't make any sense. It means you don't care for your child. You care for the control of your child when he's no longer a child and he is a grown man and can speak for himself. Yes, I would admit, sometimes I feel like Harry speaks a bit too much to the press, sure, but it's a reaction, not an action, to the madness that William and Charles, especially Charles, are doing behind the scenes. Rant over, Royal Nugget video over. Whew, just wanted to get that out there. I just feel like William and Kate are so bizarrely lazy, especially William, like what stresses of public work engagements to this day that you have to take off for you now to go somewhere else and take off another holiday, the fourth or fifth holiday this year when you've barely been doing work anyways and you're making millions of pounds for doing absolutely nothing. Like you're not even royal. Nobody's a royal, we're all the same. We're all commoners, we're all the same. So, you know, there's no upper class, aristocratic, all of that BS, it's man-made nonsense and people shouldn't believe into that BS. Anyways, subscribe, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. I don't even know, just let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll catch you guys soon for another Royal Madness.